Hey y'all, Irix Guy here back again with another unboxing video. And this is the Nintendo Switch. Just came out, very hard to find. Uh, but I'm excited about it. I used to play uh, the regular Nintendo, the 8-bit. And I love Zelda and they came, out with, they came out with Zelda for this. So that's the primary reason I got it. But this video, we're just going to take it out of the box. Check the link within this video's description and you can find where to order the Nintendo Switch as well as the games and other accessories online. So the first thing you might notice when you take this out is, wow, that's small. And I'm curious, anytime something's small, you know, how does it feel? Well, this is one side, this is one controller, and having not played the Nintendo Switch yet, it's going to be interesting to see how this works, but this is called the Joy-Con, and uh, you can put them both together if you're playing in uh, in portable mode, or I think you can play two players with these, so that's kind of cool. Like give one to somebody else. But just a cool looking controller, feels very well made. And Nintendo has really stepped up their game with this. Uh, there for a while, Nintendo was, they were kind of in an interim state, which is the best way I could refer to it as. Uh, this right here, if you're familiar with a, with a tablet device, immediately when I touch it, it feels similar. One of the first things I did is order a screen protector because I want to keep this thing immaculate. So stay tuned for my video on that. I'll post a, uh, a link to the screen protector that I use within this video's description. Now one word of caution, when you put these Joy-Cons on the side, there's one for one side and one for the other. And people often confuse which side the Joy-Con goes on. Now the best way to tell is right here, it's got a home button. So that goes on the right side with the home button. So that clicked in, and then the other one without the home button goes on the left side. So if you're using this for a portable gaming device, that's the configuration that one would use. Very thin, very well made. It seems to be of, of excellent quality. I can't wait to, uh, to play with this. It's got a place right here for micro SD card slot. And uh, yeah, just look at that in its full detail there. Look at that. Very cool. Micro SD card slot. Let's see what else we got in the box. Because uh, this is just the unboxing video. So we've got a HDMI cable. And then we've got a power brick. And curiously enough, if you look at that, that is USB-C. So that's kind of interesting that they've used the, uh, the new USB-C standard. And that's, that's present on your new MacBook computers as well. USB-C is in Charlie. And obviously this right here is HDMI cable. I haven't played games in a while. Actually, I've taken a vacation from video gaming for a few years, but this excited me. It's just, I feel that it's very innovative. And that's important. Uh, this right here is a, uh, I guess it would go on one of the controllers. Oh, I bet it's, it's like a mo motion sensor type thing. If you're doing that type thing, you put it on. Let's see here. Um, oh, there's a little button at the top that pops this off. So see, this would go... Actually, I think it may, yeah, there we go. So that clicked in. Uh-oh. There is another control, uh-oh, uh-oh. I think I inadvertently may have put this on the wrong side, but it popped off. But just use that as a word of caution that you need to be careful because I bet this was supposed to go on the other side. And they say there's been a lot of people that have, that have put these on the incorrect side of the gaming device and that's created problems.
maybe that is how it goes because I did the same on this one. Maybe I just freaked out for no reason. Whatever the case may be, it was scary. I don't like it. Let's make sure this side comes off. Yeah, it does. Okay, so that's going to take some investigation. I want to make sure. And again, <laughs> I'm going to look at this. Home is on the right. Home is on the right. So when I put that back on, I've got to be very careful. So I put this in the in incorrect direction. It could really create a problem. I know a lot of people have had problems with that. Uh, this, so this is neat. So this feels like a controller. So if you're playing one player, one player rather, you can pop this Joy-Con off, stick it on the right side. You can pop this Joy-Con off, stick it on the left side. And now it's like a controller, a big controller. So that's kind of cool. Now there is a uh, HD gamepad that's supposed to be even more advanced and, and you can get it. But I'm going to try just what came with the Nintendo Switch first, which is this. So that's kind of neat. And again, this is just the unboxing video. You're getting to see what's in the box. You know, I'm going to do uh, an exhaustive review after I've had hands-on with it for a while. But again, I like the innovative feel of this console. It's just it's really neat being able to and there's a box right here with some stuff. Let's see. Oh, this is the... Uh, so if you're plugging it, in, plugging it into your TV, this is the cradle that goes to your TV. So you've got two USB ports. And then... Uh, I mean, this, this is very interesting. And I, I never like to read instructions. But I'm going to see how... Oh, see, that lifts down. And it says AC, so here you go, AC adapter, USB, and HDMI out. So when I plug this into my TV, this right here, the HDMI, goes in here. And then the USB, or the AC adapter, We'll go in there. Now, one thing I'm immediately aware of is that when I'm on the go, I'm going to want to have a USB-C cable to keep this charged in the car. Uh, fortunately, I already have one of those, so you know I'm I'm a forward thinker, early adopter. You know, actually, I've got one because it came with a camera that I have that uses USB-C for charging. So, with that being the case, I'm just going to dedicate this wall power jack to the uh, to the cradle that plugs into the TV. But see, if you're using it with your television, obviously you would pop the two Joy-Cons off, and that's how I'm first going to experience it, is with the television. Pay attention to the direction here. Um, so it says Nintendo Switch on the front of the box. You can see the logo, and it's got the screen facing the Nintendo Switch logo. I'm gently going to insert. And that seems to be in there now. So then when you go to portable gaming, you know, you just put your controllers on when you pop it off again, paying attention to home button. Home goes on the right. And then you got a mobile gaming device. So this is really cool. Again, just the unboxing video. I haven't even played with it yet. First powered it on. There you go. Beautiful display. Check the link within this video's description. You can find the Nintendo Switch, the games, the accessories, and a lot more. And I'm going to post a lot of reviews. This is just the unboxing video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash iRicksGuy. Y'all have a good day. Hey, y'all. iRicksGuy here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, and share. It's viewers like you that enable my channel to continue to grow. Thank you.